bless you tonight. Welcome to New Grace Tabernacle Bible Study. Come on in, come on in. Bless you, Sister Levette. Thank you, Sister Levette. You already know why. Thank you. God bless you, Sister Salona. God bless you, Brother Eric. You're a champion. Star Bell, bless you. Come on, I want you to share it tonight. Bless you, Deacon Parker. Sally May, God bless you. Sister Tasha, bless you. Come on, we get ready for the word of God, y'all. Sister Fisher, bless you. Mr. Fisher, God bless you. Hold on. Mr. Morgan, good to see you. Let's make sure we share it. Precious, bless you. Mr. Ebony, bless you. We've been praying for you. Evangelist, missionary, Dr. Geneva Davis, bless you. Mama P. God bless you tonight. Thank you for joining us for Bible study. That's an old song called Keep the Faith. God bless you, Brother Walter Henry. God bless you. But we're going to start with a word of prayer. Father God, we thank you for this hour of Bible study. We pray right now that you let all things be done in decency and in order, God. Touch your man of God. Give him strength now, God. I cannot teach your word without your power. So I pray right now, God, that you let your word go forth. In the name of Jesus, somebody that's watching this needs a word tonight. Somebody's been going through all day long and they need a word tonight, God. So I pray right now that you use me to give them the word that you gave me. In Jesus name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Listen, we're going to talk. We're going to talk tonight it's going to be a good Bible study lesson, so I want you to get your friends, get your family, um, get your co-workers up on here, share it with them, tag somebody, start a watch party. I don't know how they do them things, but get the folks in, all right? Uh, we, we're praying for a few folks. I believe we're still yet praying for Deacon Larry Ned. As far as I know, he is out of ICU. Thank God for that. Amen. And um, we, we're still continuing to pray for him. Sister Marlo, how's Deacon Ned doing? Send something to me. Let me know. All right. And we're also praying for um, 
one of the one of our uh, ministry friends, Mama Connie, and her, her husband Deacon JT, they had to funeralize his brother today. So we're praying for that family as well. We're praying for Tiger Woods. Uh, I know this isn't my sports show, but I I am aware of it. Tiger Woods was in a horrible car accident that could have been worse. It could have been a lot worse. Thank God he only suffered uh, leg injuries, and he's gonna be. All right. So we thank God. Mama Brown, Mother Brown, it's good to see you on this Bible study tonight. Listen, tonight I am going to bless you, Bishop Spencer, right? That's my cousin, y'all, all the way from Atlanta, Georgia. Tonight I am going to stretch you in your faith. We're going to talk about faith tonight. Brother Robert, God bless you, man. We're going to talk about faith tonight. And I want to stretch you in your faith because Faith is more than just talking about it. And I'm also going to show you in the word of God where you can exercise faith, but you got to have love to go with your faith. All right. So so we can't just say we got faith, but we mean as rattlesnakes. We can't say we have faith, but we don't show love to one another. Amen, somebody. Let me make sure I'm clear. Oh, that just made it worse. I don't know what that was. Loose here. I want you to see me clearly. See, I'm all foggy. I don't want to be foggy. I want to be clear. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. That's better. Now I'm clear. All right. We can't say we got faith and we mean to folk. All right. Use the claw. Thank you, D. I, I think I got it now. See, Deacon Parker, he, he good with all that camera stuff. But listen, we the people of God, we don't walk. Oh, Lord, have mercy. We don't walk by sight, but we walk by faith. I want to get 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. The people of God, and you got to realize if you are a child of God, you walk different. You walk differently. You don't walk by what you see. You don't walk by what's in your bank account. You don't walk by uh, um, by by what you think you you. You don't deserve. You walk by faith. Second Corinthians chapter five, verse seven says this. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Now, all of us, all of us can see. Well, most of us, I don't want to go there. Mo most of us can see we have our sight. So when we're walking and, you, you know, we, we go by what we see. But when you take a faith walk. You're not going to be able to see everything that God has for you. When you're taking a faith walk, you got to be able to trust God even when you don't see it. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to trust God even when you don't see it. And and I, I remember uh, my friend, Pastor Jasper Willis, he had a blind keyboard player down down in Virginia. I forgot I forgot his name. Boy can play too. Some of y'all went down there with me a couple of years ago and he had a blind keyboard player. So he this dude, he didn't have no no stick. He didn't have no dog. He barely had anybody helping him around. I said, "Yo, uh, his name was Clarence." I said, "Clarence, how you be getting around?" He said, "I just feel my way." I feel my way. I go by my other senses. So he could not see but he can feel his way. And even when the dark, the lights can be out, he can walk around that whole church because you got to feel anybody feel like God is getting ready to do something crazy for you. You don't see it, but you feeling your way around. That's walking by faith. If you only walk by sight, then then you only walking by what you have in your hand, only what's tangible, only what you can do, only what you can see. And it takes a level of faith to walk by what you feel and not by what you see. 
So how do you feel? Well, you, you can't focus on negative things and feel like God going to do something. You got to focus on what the word of God said. And then you feel your way, even though you don't, it don't look like it. I feel like God is getting ready to do something. Amen. And we walk by faith and not by sight. I know what doctors reports say and, and all that stuff, but we don't, we don't walk by. You see, you can walk on a doctor's report all you want. I'm going to read the doctor report. Da, 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 da. You can do that all you want, but some of us, we learn not to take the doctor's report when he tell us we're going to die in three months. We ain't going to take that to heart. We're going to go beyond what the doctor says and say, I am going to walk by faith and not by sight. And, and you know what? If you ain't doing too good, don't even look at your bank account. Some, of the, some folks look at their bank account and get discouraged immediately. And if you walk by your bank account, then you'll never stretch out on what God has for you. So what you have to do is sometimes you got to ignore what's in your bank account and focus on what God said he's going to do. Oh, Lord. When the last time you walked in a place where you knew you didn't have the money to buy nothing in there, but you walked in there. Amen. So so you, you got to walk by faith all right let me get hebrews i want and somebody gonna leave this bible study tonight you're gonna leave this bible study encouraged you're gonna leave this bible study walking by faith amen because you gotta you gotta exercise your faith hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 Oh, Lord. I'm going to give you verse 1 first, and then I'm going to give you verse 6. But Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, New, the, the King James Version. King James Version says this. That's what it say. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Lord, have mercy. Am I in the word of God? For the evidence of things the thing, the evidence of things not seen. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. You understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Now I'm going to read the New Living Translation so you can get an even better understanding of it. This, this is going to freak you out. Watch this. Faith shows the reality of what we hope for. It is the evidence of things we cannot see. You see, don't worry about what you can't see. Worry about what you can hope for. Oh, God. You see, substance. It's the substance. You, If you don't have no hope, you ain't got no faith. And sometimes, you know, we hope, we hope God do something. If you got hope, that the worst thing a child of God can do is lose hope. If you lose hope, then your faith is gone. If you lose hope, you're waiting to see something. And and what what happens when you have hope? Every now and then you 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 get hope from your dreams. You get hope from your thoughts. You get hope from your imagination. You get hope from the word of God. And it's, if you can, if you can have a little bit of hope, <laughs> somebody say, I got hope. I got hope. If you can have a little bit of hope, it's the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Woo! If I was a lawyer, I'd be in trouble because lawyers got to go by evidence they can see. A judge got to go by evidence he can see. But when you're dealing with faith, it's the evidence of the unseen. Good God Almighty. It's the evidence of what you cannot see. So when you have hope, that's where your faith comes from. And, uh, and I know, you know, well, I, I hope I can get this. Yeah, you better hold on to your hope. Let me go to verse 6 now. Verse 6 says this. And it is impossible to please God without faith. 
Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists and that he rewards them who sincerely seek him. King James Version says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Faith people don't give up. There has to be some diligence to your faith. I wish I could teach this thing like I want to. There has to be some uh, uh, some diligence to your faith. You can't say one time and, and that's it. I ain't No, no, no. We go after other things diligently. But when it comes to the things of faith, we throw in the towel. No, the, uh, 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 faith without faith, it is impossible to please God. It's impossible. If you ain't got no faith, you can run up and down, hang from chandeliers, spit, foam at the mouth and speak in every tongue you know. But if you ain't got no faith, the Bible says that it is no way in the world you can please God. <laughs> it's no way in the world you can please God if you ain't got no faith. That's that's. God tested people's faith. He tested their faith. When he tests your faith, he's testing your loyalty. When he tested uh, 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 people's faith, he tests your loyalty. Do you trust me enough to have faith in me that I won't let you down? Do you trust God? And, and, and you know, my father used to tell the story about, you know, folks don't, a lot of folks say they ain't got no faith. They lying. Because any time you get on a plane, you got faith. If you can get on an airplane and go up 30,000 feet in the air, don't even know the pilot's first and last name. Go up there, put your feet back, and go to sleep. Can't even tell me why, how the plane is up there, but you flying on the plane. You got faith. But we got to channel our faith and put it in the right direction. If you rode the train today, if you rode the A train, you can't tell me the train director's name. You can't tell me the conductor name, but you got on that train, sat down. Some of us stood up and held the bar. You got faith. Take that same faith and just get back in God. You got to take that same faith and trust in God. Listen, I want you to share this with somebody because it then goes, says he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Woo. You know what? I heard somebody say, stop, don't aggravate God. Stop, don't, don't, don't irritate God. Listen. Don't tell me I can't ag aggravate God. I can't irritate God. I'm his child. He wants me to diligently seek him. He wants me to keep coming to him. Who I'm go to you. So you can't aggravate God. So don't say, oh, I don't want to bother God with this. Bother him. Listen to me. Bother God. He wants you to. He wants you to try him. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Amen. He wants you to diligently continue to seek him. Let me get Ephesians. Oh, yes. It's about to get gooder and gooder, y'all. The book of Ephesians. Chapter 3, verse 16 and 17. Ephesians 3, 16 and 17, it reads like this. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Watch this. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. Now, I'm going to read the King James Version for you so you can grab it. I want you to grab it. 
3 and 7, 16, 17, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his power, by his spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye may be rooted and grounded in love. Rooted and grounded in love. Can I tell you something? We want to know what, what are the qualities of God. Well, my Bible tells me God is love. If you don't have love, you can stop. Don't, don't even worry about faith if you ain't got love. If you ain't got love for your brother or love for your sister, you ain't even got to worry about faith. Because if we're not operating in love, they go hand in hand. God wants us to be rooted in love. And it take watch this. This is going to be scary for somebody. It takes faith to love some folk. I'm going to say that again. It takes faith to love some folk. Some folks is hard to love. I, I hate to break it to you like that, but there are some people, they are hard to love. And when you do love, you say, look, I'm going to take a chance. <laughs> Anytime you got to say that, I'm going to take a chance. That's faith. Oh, I'm going to take a chance and love you. I'm going to take a chance and show you. I'm going to take a chance. And a lot of times we take chances, but it takes faith to love folks. Watch this. It takes faith to love again. Some of us refuse to love again because of what happened the last time. It takes faith to love again. That's why the Bible says without faith it is impossible to choose, to please God. It takes faith to fall in love again. Some of us have blocked that part of our hearts out. Some of us have blocked certain areas of our heart out because we've been hurt and we love can't live here no more. It's going to take faith. It ain't going to take flowers. It ain't going to take chocolates. It ain't going to take crab legs with butter sauce. It's going to take faith for you to love again. God got to do something in your faith that you can trust him to send somebody that will do right by you. All right. And all these folks walk, talking about you walking by faith, but you walking right past folk and not talking to them. The devil is a liar. You ain't walking by faith. You walking by hate. How can you walk past folks talking about you walking by faith? So, oh, I don't see you. I'm walking by faith. I, no, 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 no. You still got to be sweet while you operating in faith. You still got to show love while you're operating in faith. Faith, just because you have faith, that don't make you mean and nasty. All right, Mark chapter 11. Woo! Thank you, Lord, for this word. Cousin Spencer, I'm feeling good tonight. I'm feeling good tonight because I'm about to, I wish I could bring you on so you can finish this thing. Uh, Mark chapter 11, verse 24. Watch this. I talked about diligently seeking him, right? Watch this. Therefore, I say unto you, what things, whatever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Good God Almighty. Mark chapter 11, verse 24. Mark chapter 11, verse 24. I'm going to read the New Living Translation. Read, watch this. I tell you, you can pray for anything. And if you believe that you've received it, 
it will be yours. Woo. <laughs> what? This is how that faith works. If I pray for it and I believe that I received it, it shall be mine. And a lot of us don't live in abundance like we should because we don't even have the faith to ask. Some folk don't even have the faith to fill out the paperwork. You got to at least have the faith to put the petition on God's desk. And we get scared of the no's. We get scared of the denials. So we won't even act. We won't even walk. We won't even step out. But the Bible says, I tell you, you can pray for anything. And if you believe that you received it, it will be yours. It will be yours. But you got to believe. Don't, you see, don't go to praying to God and you get up. Well, I, I hope he heard me. I reckon, I reckon he heard me. No, no, no. You got to get up and act like you, you know it's yours. You got to, you got to psych yourself out. As if you already have it in your hand. Oh, I wish y'all would talk back to me. You got to know, you, you, you just can't be scared to ask. I'll, I'll never be scared to ask. I'll never be scared to take the steps. I remember... Before I, I really learned how to swim, I used to, my, my father and my mom taught me how to swim. And uh, it was, you know, we were all trying to learn, but I wasn't scared to at least put my feet in the water. So I was, I would go to the edge of the pool and I'm flapping my feet like I'm, uh, 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 uh like a dolphin, just flap, 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 flap. And there were some people scared to even put their feet in the water. Some folks have, you know, they got a water phobia or whatever. My father saw me. Well, at least you ain't scared to do that. Come in this water. I'm going to show you how to swim. And he held me up and taught me how to swim. You got to put your feet in the water before you can swim. And if you scared to put your feet in the water, you scared to even ask God. You have not because you ask not. You don't have not because you don't deserve. You don't have not because you're not qualified. You have not because you ask not. And if you're afraid to even ask, then you don't deserve to get what you even thinking about asking for. Lord have mercy. Don't be, sis, don't, don't, don't be scared to ask. Good God almighty. You know, it's a it's a thing. You know, they say if you if you like like a girl or you like a guy, shoot your shot. You know, they say that, shoot your shot. And um, I'm gonna say this: shoot your shot with God. There's some things that you have not even asked God for yet, because you are you are afraid. Don't be afraid, because some stuff if you ask God for. He might mess around and do it before you go to bed. And then it been, been on mess you up. Shoot your shot with God. We shoot our shot with everybody else. Shoot your shot with God. Good Lord have mercy. I'm getting excited. I'm starting to sweat behind my ears. Amen. You, it, 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 it takes faith to act. And, and I talked a couple of weeks ago about boldness. To be bold. The Bible says come boldly before the throne of grace. It takes faith to act. That's all it do. It takes faith. It don't take no. What's this? These Kojic folks keep calling trying to get my vote. It don't take money to act. It don't take 
a degree to act, it takes faith. And after you have exercised your faith, if you, the Bible says, if you believe, you shall, you will receive. If you believe you, I want you to, before the end of this season, before the end of these, these first three months of 2021, I want you to start asking God for some crazy stuff. I mean, ask God for some stuff that you know you can't get on your own. Ask God. Sister Marilyn Walker, try God. Ask God for some stuff that you know you can't get on your own. That when it do come, you got to look at it and say, oh, my God. This is, this has got to be God. All right. Let's go to the book of James. Woo. James chapter 1, verse 6. Oh, oh, glory to God. James chapter 1, verse 6. Watch this. But when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in God alone. Do not waver, for a person with divided loyalty is as unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind. You heard the word of God. You heard the word of God. Be sure that your faith is in God alone. Don't waver. Don't, 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 don't be kind of sideways in your action. You got to be confident in God. You got to be confident in God and God alone. Don't, don't worry about somebody else trying to give you. Don't, don't, don't worry about trying to get it from somebody else because a lot of things, when you have faith in God, God will move on the hearts of people that really don't want you to have nothing. God, and this is the thing, God will move on the hearts of people. That's why we, we got to put out, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Ask God, put your faith in God. Don't waver. Don't, don't be asking God thinking that it ain't going to happen. Because right then and there, you done killed your prayer. Right then and there, you done killed everything you've been praying about. Don't waver. Don't let nobody change your mind. Well, don't 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 go for that job. You ain't qualified. You hush up. Don't tell me. Don't let nobody tell you what you ain't qualified for. Half of us right now work on jobs that we ain't qualified for. I know ain't nobody going to say nothing because your boss might be on here. But half of us right now work on jobs that we ain't qualified for. Half of us right now driving or living in things that our credit could not have gotten us. So you already, you already living on borrowed time. You already living on the faith of God. And they got, they got another thing. Folks talking about that, you know, a lot of folks is overqualified. I ain't never had that problem. <laughs> Amen. Most of the things that God did for me, I was underqualified. I never went to music school, but I got jobs at some of the best musical churches ever. I, I never I never took a music lesson. I don't have a degree from Berkeley or Juilliard, but I, I got Grammy nominations. I got Stella Award nominations because I'm even though I'm underqualified, I had faith in God. See, you got to have faith in God and God will take the rest. Don't waver in your faith. Don't let nobody discourage you. You got a lot of people that want to discourage you from, from walking in faith, from operating in faith. Get away from them. 
Get away from everybody that don't have the that don't. It's it's all right if you don't have if they don't have faith. That's cool. But when their faith, their lack of faith wants to pull down your strong faith, you got to get away from people like that. You got to get away from people that can't at least celebrate you when you're reaching for things that you can't touch. Don't and you know a lot of folks you a lot of people you can't you can't you can't grab and take everybody with you because not just that they don't have faith the faith that you have they will tear down your faith with their negative attitude listen i don't want nobody negative around me when i'm walking in faith And even when you thank you, when you're not qualified, as long as God called you, He'll make you qualified. Amen. Walk by faith and not by sight. The Bible also says the just shall live by faith. The just shall live by faith. And we got to, saints, people of God, hear me. Hear me real good. Stop trying to live by your salary. Ooh. Stop trying to live by your paycheck. Stop trying to live by what's in your bank account. The Bible says that the just shall live by faith. Now, I'm not saying don't be a good steward. Be a good steward. But when you are a good steward, God will open the doors of heaven. He'll open the windows of heaven and he'll pour you out blessings that you don't have room enough to receive. And it'll be hard for you to explain to some folks how you got what you got. But you're not living by your bank account. You living by faith. Faith is a different kind of currency. I got one of our young ladies. She's teaching me about these different currencies and Bitcoin and uh, Lucium and, and all these different currencies. And all that is dope. But it's another kind of currency that ain't Euro, that ain't CAD, that ain't USD. It ain't the yen. It's called faith. And when you're living by the faith currency, the buck is always in your favor. You got to live according to faith. Whew, I'm getting, all right, I'm sorry. I'm raising my voice. I don't mean to holler at you, but I want you to get this concept that the just shall live by faith. This that's how that's how we live. That I don't I don't I can't speak for anybody else. I I can't speak for how the atheists live. I can't speak for uh, uh, for how the Buddhists live. I'm talking about the just, the people of God, the saints. <laughs> we live by faith. First Corinthians chapter thirteen. Y'all thought I was done with that love. I ain't done with love. First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1 and 2. Now, I want y'all, you see, we got about 44 people watching right now. Watch how it's going to drop. You're going to see some folks drop off right now. If verse 1 and 2, 1 Corinthians 13, watch this. If I could speak in all the languages of earth and of angels, but didn't love others, I would only be noisy. I would only be a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I had the gift of prophecy and understood all God's secret plans and possessed all knowledge, and if I had such faith, 
that could that I could move mountains but didn't love others, I would be nothing. We got two down. Watch this. Listen, I'm going to read verse two again. If I had to give a prophecy and if I understood all of God's secret plans and possessed all knowledge and if I had such faith that could move mountains but didn't love others, I would be nothing. That's for all the nice, nasty people. You got to start operating in love. If you got all that stuff and you got the faith to move mountains, that mountain ain't going nowhere because you ain't got love. And and, 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 and a lot of people have nev- never taught that, never preached that. We just talk about speaking things of faith and, and, and name it and claim it. But you can name it and claim it all you want. But if you ain't got no love, ain't nothing happening for you. And that's tough to take because a lot of us want to want God to uh, uh, bypass our mean spirit itself. We want God to bypass our backbiting ways. We want God to bypass our evil negative attitudes and the rolling of the eyes and the being mean and evil to folks and being mean to church, your saints, being mean to your own family. We want God to bypass that, the, the, the evilness that's in your heart and just go with whatever okay name it and claim it no name it and claim it don't work for you if you ain't got love name it and claim it don't even belong in your house if you ain't got love you better learn to love folks I'm talking about love folks that don't love you back. I'm talking about love folks that can't stand you. I'm talking about love family that talk bad about you. I'm talking about love church members that walk past you like they don't see you. I'm talking about love folks. If you want all this stuff and you ain't got love, you fooling yourself. Well, if they don't love me, I ain't going to love them. Okay, you have that attitude all you want. You ain't going to speak. You Ain't no mountain going to move for you. <laughs> ain't, ain't no mountain going to move for nobody that ain't got love. Oh, hear me, people of God. Hear me, people of God. We must exercise love. That's the main quality of God. God is love. And if I have the gift and do all, I can do all these things. Your prophecy means nothing if you ain't got love. Your speaking in tongues means nothing if you ain't got love. Your gift means nothing if you ain't got love. And I'm going to preach on this on Sunday because I I feel it deep down in my spirit. I want to holler right now. But let me show you something. Even the Bible speaks of your gifts. If you are gifted and you you got such great gift, but you got to ought with your brother or sister. The Bible says, bring your gift to the altar and leave it there and go tend to the sister or the brother that you got a problem with. Oh, Lord. Nobody want to say nothing. So all of the faith, love goes with that. And you see, watch this. And, 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 and I want you to I want you to try it. Love on somebody that ain't been loving on you. And watch how God will do something out of the ordinary just for you. Because when you could have clapped back, when you could have retaliated, when you could have did something to that person, you decided to love on them. You decided to love on them. And when you decided to love on them, look, I, I'll never forget the story of David when, uh, when Saul was trying to kill him. And you know what David did? David had a chance to kill him, but he just cut the little piece of his robe. He just cut a little piece of him. He just he just cut this little piece. Just say, look, I got a little piece of your robe. Let me just, I'm just showing you what I could have done. <laughs> if, it, if I wasn't saved and I wasn't called of God, I'm just showing you. I could have took you out. 
You ain't got to take everybody out that you think you should because your faith is dependent on your, your favor. Is it worth your favor? I want you to write down on the bottom of the screen, say, it ain't worth my favor. I, I, need, I need you to write down on the bottom of this comment, say, it ain't worth my favor. Whatever that it is, her, him, she, he, big, it ain't worth <laughs> my favor. I'd rather let you get this win and I keep favor. I'd rather let you think you won and I keep my favor. I need you to write it. It ain't worth my favor. Woo. All right, we got to we 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 getting ready to get out of here, y'all. Deacon Larry Nett, it's good to see you, man. We love you. We know you got to be doing better if you on the live. It ain't worth my favor. Romans Chapter 1. Romans chapter 1. And we're going to close out with this. Woo. Verse 17. It ain't worth my favor. Romans chapter 1. Verse 17. And it reads like this, this is the New Living Translation. This good news tells us how God makes us right in his sight. This is accomplished from start to finish by faith. As the scripture said, it is through faith that a righteous person has life that's the new living translation from from start to finish that's what that's what god is saying the righteous person has like watch this if you read the king james version for therein is the righteousness of god revealed from faith to faith as it is written the just shall live by faith Woo! the just shall live by faith if you don't feel like you're not, if you feel like you're not living like you know god wants you to live you got to bring your faith up i know i i, I know what the bank account says I know what your I, I i know what what your salary says every two weeks but if you are not living the life that you know God has promised you. Pick your faith currency up. Pick up your faith currency. Start asking God with confidence for everything you desire him to do in your life. I don't care how far-fetched it is. I don't care if nobody ain't never had it before. Don't waver in it. Start asking God for it now. Well, I ask him once I once I uh uh I gotta get my bread up, get my paper up, and then I ask, no 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 no. If that's the case, then you putting your paper and your bread above your faith. And God is never gonna come operate operate like that he wants he wants you to operate in the faith when your finances really can't do it for you it's not about how much you have it's about how much god has and when god blesses you when you don't have guess what you can't get the glory you can't you can't take the credit and we we want to we want to give the credit to this. We want this to get the credit. No, this can't get the credit for what God does. It's a couple of dollars. But this, the word of God, gets the credit. The word of God gets the credit. 
Not this. This is just some green paper with numbers on it. But this is our currency. The just shall live by faith. I gave you seven scriptures. Find a scripture and sleep on it tonight. Find a scripture and wake up with it in the morning. Don't let this rule you. Don't let your blessings be determined by this. Your blessings are determined by what God said you can have in his word. I hope I'm helping somebody tonight. Faith for all I trust him. For all I trust him. And I, I want us to operate in that faith. And, and I want to I, I want to pray with you tonight that God deals with you even in your sleep tonight. That God deals with you in your faith. Because it, it, it is by faith that you're going to get everything that God desires for you to have. Father God, I pray right now that you strengthen our faith. God, we need you. We need to know that if we step out, we're stepping out on you. God, you have never failed us yet, so strengthen us in our faith so that whatever moves we make, we make it with the confidence knowing that you're going to do it. We make it with the confidence knowing that you will not let us down. You said in your word, God, that we, the just, shall live by faith. So tonight we make a conscious decision to let our faith work for us. God, tonight we make a conscious decision to let our faith work for us tonight we will start to speak those things that are not as though they were tonight we will no longer live by sight but we'll live by faith God I pray right now that you give us mountain moving faith and not just faith but give us the love that goes with it hallelujah Help us to love one another. Help us not to block our own blessing by trying to get payback. Help us not to block our own blessing by trying, trying to live up to a reputation. Help us not to block our own blessing. God, while we're loving those that hate us, enlarge our territory. In the name of Jesus, while we're loving those that do us wrong, enlarge our territory. While we're doing good to those that don't do good to us, give us millionaire favor. I speak millionaire favor over every body right now, over every soul right now, over every family right now. Favor is better than money. Faith overtakes our bank accounts. And God, we want you to do this. Starting tonight, we make a, a conscious decision. Because we know that we have not because we ask not. So we'll begin to ask. We'll ask for healing. We'll ask for favor. We'll ask for deliverance. We'll ask for the new houses. We'll ask for the new cars. We'll ask for the new jobs. We'll ask for the promotions. We'll ask for the raises that we don't even qualify for. Because we're walking in faith. And if you do all these things, God, we never hesitate to give your name the glory, the praise, and the honor. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, everybody say amen. Listen, I want you to sow a seed 
Yes, enlarge my territory. Come on, I want you to start decreeing what you need God to do for you. Uh, uh, enlarge my territory. Uh, uh, give me the job. Give me the house. Give me the business. Give me the property. Come on, come on. I want you to get, get, put it out, put it out there for God to do. Yes, Lord. I want you to sow a seed. There's five people that will sow a $50 seed tonight. There are five people that are watching right now. God has already told you to sow a $50 seed. Everybody else, I want you to get a $20 seed or a $10 seed, the best seed you can do. I want you to get that seed right now. You can do it on Cash App, dollar sign, New Grace tab. Dollar sign, New Grace tab. Or you can do it on Zelle. Pastor Dave, 14 at gmail.com. That's Pastor Dave. 14 at gmail.com Come on, I want you to do that right now. Sow that seed. Sow that seed. That right, Eric Hendrick, that the house, that house, that house. Thank you, Lord, for hearing my prayer. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Listen, I want you to sow that seed right now. Sow it. Sow it right now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We're going to put a praise right there on there. We're going to put a praise right there. Whatever you ask God for, this is what I want you to know. Whatever you ask for, and you ask and you believed it, it's already yours. This is going to be the year. No matter what happens, this is the year. Somebody clap your hands right there. Woo! Hey! Don't wait till the battle's over, but shout now. Don't wait till you got it. But I did you to praise God in your house right now. I did you to praise God in your house right now. Praise him right now. This year, 2021, I said, this is the year. You waiting for the prophecy. Oh, some of y'all don't want to shout in your house. Yes. Turn yes. your house into a sanctuary right now. Hey. It's the year I'm getting delivered. Turn your house into great the great tabernacle right now. Oh, oh. It's the year I'm getting married. It's the year that God's gonna heal my body. Woo! It's the year that depression if has you to can't do nothing but clap your hands. Suicide. Pornography. This is the year. It's happening for me this year. It's gonna happen for you this year. You don't need nothing. Sit this praise out. Good God Almighty. Oh, oh, I need oh, oh. Get in the eyes. Pull the cold. Push your chair from behind the desk Ooh. and dance. By faith, I believe that Deacon Larry said, Ned is healed right now. By faith. I said dance. Deacon Larry Ned, Run for it. every Street. infection. I don't know what y'all do over there. But over here, we Every infection start. leaving your body. Yeah. I decree and declare to to the by world. the blood of Jesus, you are this here. Is the year. Deacon Parker, I'm I speak strength to your body right now. I'm gonna walk in it. Hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna drive it. I'm gonna be it. This is the year I've been holding on for this year. I've been surviving for this year. This year. Somebody been worrying about how they're gonna keep food on the table. How they gonna keep the bills paid. You I dare you to pray them right now and know that the just shall you live by faith. You hey! God. Praise him with the prophecy in mind. You better praise them like you know Anybody God already did it. Promised. Sister Ebony, for everything that happened down there for had to happen. For your you, you got something new, but you're getting ready for something for else new. I it right now. Hey! I said, oh, praise it because your Lord. future is secure. 
Faith brought me this far, and faith gonna take me higher. I said, praise it because your future is secure. Come on and clap your hands right there. Come on, put strength in your feet. I said, put strength in your feet. Oh, Lord. How? Oh, my mind, baby, Cosa. I said, this is the year. Ha, ha, there it is. It's the year. It's the moment. It's the time. This is Geneva Davis. Come on. Every child. business venture that you have. God is going to find it. Every business venture you have, every thought that comes to he your mind regarding for what you want to do for people, God is so going to finance it. Get ready. I said I'm dancing hey, hey. in the box. Get ready for God to show this you. Year I'm going to dance in it. Last year I prayed for it. Oh, evidence is coming. But in this year, evidence is coming. Evidence is coming. I said this year. Don't look at me with that tone of voice. If you are right, we got to go. God bless you. I'll see you Sunday morning.